Now to those heartbreaking details out of Apopka tonight where troopers say a toddler was hit and killed by a car. Now they are trying to piece together which of the little boy's parents was behind the wheel. Right now, detectives are at the scene investigating along Thor Avenue. That's South Pleasant Lake Road near Cimarron Boulevard. News 6 reporter Nadine Yanis joins us there live now. And Nadine, what have you been able to find out? Well, I actually got a lot of new information from FHP finding out that it was the father who was behind the wheel of a pickup truck when he ran over his son. FHP also just released that little boy's name to me, one-year-old Isaac Rodea. Now they're just trying to figure out exactly how all of this happened. Now it started around 1120 this morning. That's when police got the call. That's when troopers uh, were out here. They've been out here ever since. They say they've been investigating this as a traffic homicide at this point. Now, FHP tells me that they believe the parents were trying to rotate take cars around the driveway when the dad driving a dark blue pickup truck backed out of the driveway and then when he pulled back in he ran over his one year old son again Isaac Rodea FHP says the baby was still holding on to a sippy cup when it all happened one witness describes the horrifying scene I heard screaming so I came running and I saw a baby behind the black truck so they picked up the baby so it was the mother was screaming, praying to God to bring him back to life. So the baby was motionless. Then a the baby sister came out yelling at some guy saying, you killed my baby brother. So I'm thinking that a black truck was backing up, hit the baby brother. And it's so incredibly heartbreaking here. The family is very upset at this point. Now, right now, FHP isn't determining whether or not uh, charges will be made. That's something that they're still investigating. Again, we just got a whole bunch of new information. We'll break that down for you tonight at 5. Ladies.